very smooth. A lot of vanilla and caramel. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a very special bottle here in my cask. It's a Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. Why this name? Well, this bottle was named after Frank Sinatra to honor his 100th birthday, which will be in December 12th, 2015. We now write spring 2015 so this bottle appeared well before his birthday well everybody should have one to celebrate his his hundredth birthday and he was born in hoboken new jersey and died on may 14 1990 1998 in los angeles he was 82 years old <clears throat> he was a very special person and there's a documentary a film about him uh, if you have the chance look it it's wonderful um, but um, there are lots of negative things said in this video but one positive thing is also to state that because uh, he was part of the Red Pack was Frank Sinatra Sammy Davis Jr. and Dean Martin and mm, two other per persons I think I'm not that aware of and they were entertainers they uh, sang songs and they made jokes and uh, Sammy Davis Jr. was a black and sorry in that time they said uh, Negro later they said black today I think it's in Afro-American and uh, well there was apartheid present in those years and Sammy Davis Jr as part of the Red Pack when he was singing in the hotels he wasn't allowed to stay in the hotels because he was black so he had to move out for the night and after a few years they said we are so famous and we are earn such a lot of money you stay here in this hotel they can say what they want you stay here and if they do not want we all leave then there will be no show tonight and from that time on Sammy Davis Jr. slept also in the hotels this is a good thing so culture music connects people and helps to bridge gaps so this one is for Frank Sinatra and probably there will be one for Sammy Davis Jr. also. And in this wonderful package, a heavy package, is a <clears throat> one liter bottle. A heavy one with a thick glass bottom and uh, a leaflet or a small book and some paper. Close this, <clears throat> yeah. And in this book, there is a history of Frank Sinatra. And if you're quite young and you do not know who Frank Sinatra is, this one is Frank Sinatra in his best years. So he had a well, uh, a really an impact on society. And. When television started this red pack was part of the television shows and everybody came together in the evening to gather the television the live te television broadcasts and those red pack people had whiskey glasses in their hand so they promoted whiskey and uh, what did uh, Frank Sinatra he had this sign on this jacket saying JD Jack Daniels Country Club. He even uh, founded this Jack Daniels Country Club. And so the, uh, the connection between Jack Daniels and Frank Sinatra was a long one and a deep one. And uh, there's a lot written down here in this this 
small book and then there's a invitation to a selected club and I think this is, yes, the Jack Daniels Country Club. Frank originally founded this private club and created a special crest for all his friends who shared his passion for the drink he called the Nectar of the Gods. So I'm a member now. There's a small member number down here. To honor the legacy set forth by Frank Sinatra, we invite you to join the Jack Daniels Country Club as an honorary, honorary member. <clears throat> What's said here on the box? One liter, 45 percent, so a little more, 5 percent ABV more than the typical Jack Daniels. They switched from 43 to 40 uh, five years ago, around 2010. There was a cry uh, in the, well, the fellowship of the Jack Daniels. Frank Sinatra and Jack Daniels, in honor of a legendary friendship that stretched more than half a century, the Jack Daniel Distillery has released a special edition Tennessee whiskey as bold and satisfying as these two timeless spirits. Whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. Spirits. The spirit in the bottle and the spirit in the mind. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> okay. Um, the whiskey is not the whiskey from the huge vat where every Jack Daniel is poured from, no. Um, I have a picture here um, of the inside of a special cask manufactured for the Sinatra Select. And this one is, well, for all Tennessee whiskey as well as bourbon, Kentucky Straight bourbon whiskey, you have to use fresh American white oak casks charred on the inside, different uh, strength of charring, um, but they have to be fresh ones. So there is less difference between those uh, different brands. You put it in the same cask so they might taste comparable. You can vary the uh, mixture of cereals you put into uh, the mash tun. Um, but the maturation in the cask, which gives half of the, at least half of the taste of a whiskey, is the same for all whiskies in the US. So there are problems. How to distinguish one whiskey from another if you can't change the casks? Well, Jack Daniels thought about that and they grooved, they milled grooves into the cask to increase the inner surface of the cask so that the whiskey is able to drag more uh, aromas out of the uh, staves uh, in the equal time. So this one is dark, really dark. All American whiskey or Tennessee whiskey and Kentucky Straight Bourbon whiskey isn't colored. It's not allowed by law. So this one is dark by nature. And this is the specialty of this Sinatra Select, those milled, uh, those grooves milled by machines into the inner surface of the cask. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> As I said, heavy thick glass bottom. So this one is a a very impressive gift. Especially if the gifted person is a little bit older and knows Frank Sinatra. For the young ones. Who is Frankie boy? I don't know. Very smooth, a lot of vanilla and caramel, Inten intensive oak, faint spice spiciness, smooth vanilla, yeah, 
very friendly one, a smooth and mellow one, at least on the nose. Full bodied, more spice in this whiskey as in a normal Jack Daniels, for example. And this note of glue you sometimes find in a single cask of Jack Daniels, single barrel whiskey, um, this one is not present in here. So this one stayed a shorter time in the casks, but had a, a more contact with the casks. So there is a, a bigger transfer of those uh, caramelized wood sugars which are created during heating of the cask. Um, this is more than the tannins and the spiciness coming out of the walls of the cask, of the staves, out of the staves. Typically, I'm no friend of Jack Daniels because the amount of whiskey coming out of that company is too big and I personally feel that they do not care enough about this whiskey. But this one is the best Jack Daniels I ever had. This is a real masterpiece of craftsmanship from Jack Daniels. I'm afraid it's quite expensive, 150 dollars, euros, pounds, whatever, I think you have to pay for it. If it's worth the money, I don't know. If the gifted person is important to you, then every dollar you pay is worth it. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. Stay tuned and give your comments about this bottle.